We are gliding with the stars today. I'm here with Elizabeth O'Donnell at the Hamburg Town Arena, the founder of Gliding Stars. Tell me about Gliding Stars and what you guys do. Well, we're an adaptive ice skating program. We start as young as 18 months and go through senior citizens. Doesn't matter what our skaters are challenged by. It could be physical, mental, emotional, um, traumatic brain injuries, the whole host. And we get them on the ice and we teach them how to skate and they have fun. And as a result, they get better balance, they get stronger, they're more coordinated, and they make friends and put it all together in a fabulous show that they're about to show you all how good they are. This is such, I'm blown away because these kids, like you said, have all different types of ability, all different ages. They come together, and you don't need to have a disability to be a part of this program, right? Well, volunteers, you know, often do, and we welcome siblings. Right. So the family often is not allowed in other activities together where a brother and sister can participate. So they really like that, mm -hmm. you know, that the brother who might not have a labeled disability just comes and skates. He's just a kid, mm -hmm. and he's just out there with his sibling and making friends. And that's friends. probably, this is one of the few activities that siblings get to do together if they have a challenge like that in their family. That's true. And that is true for cousins Kaylee and Helen. My favorite part is probably being able to be with Kaylee since she's my cousin and definitely my favorite. Um, and just being able to skate with her and spend time with her. They have different challenges, but this is an opportunity to do something fun together. I have ADHD and ODD. Um, I, I started skating also because I had crooked feet and the doctors weren't sure if I was going to ever get them straightened out. Thankfully, they have straightened things for races and years of therapy that I'm no longer in. Um, so that's pretty much why I joined. And um, after getting through that physical disability, it's definitely helped me a lot with my mental disabilities. And I'm happy to be part of this. Um, I'm a volunteer, but I grew up with autism spectrum disorder. So I had a hard time like making and keeping friends. So it was nice to like have people that weren't gonna like make fun of you or tease you. For a father-son duo, they both discovered a new passion. So I started skating with him the year after he started, because he started with when he went to the language development program. And then uh, after seeing how much he enjoyed it, then I started skating with him on weekends. And the ability to see David thrive. I love seeing how David enjoys uh, doing his tricks and that he loves seeing all the people that he skated with for more than 25 years and it's just uh, very heartwarming to see that he really enjoys coming skating and it's helped him get stronger and he, he just looks forward to it every week. I like to skate with friends and do tricks. But this isn't new. Elizabeth has been doing gliding stars for years. How many, you ask? 48. <laughs> Forty-eight incredible Pretty, years yeah, of doing very this. Long what time. keeps you going? Well, I like still being on the ice. You know, some of the other parts of it, I'm a little, you know, sick of doing those. Uh, I am going to retire at the end of this season, oh. so I'm moving into a new phase of my existence. Whatever the next <laughs> challenge is going to be, I don't quite know. But uh, I, I, I like doing things, and I've loved doing this for forty-eight years. But it's time to turn the baton over to somebody else. And so this is my last show. The this one that's is coming your last. Up show so we're, we're, te we're teasing it right now but tell me about the show that's coming up. Um, it's called Skating on Land and Sea. It's a Saturday the 25th of March. We've got a 2 p.m. performance and it's at the North Town Center in Amherst which is a lovely building to do a show in because it has audience on three sides and everybody comes from our North Town and our South Town locations and they all perform together. Nice. What can we expect to see in this performance? Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Bring a Kleenex, you'll probably cry because it's so hard, it's so moving, you know, and, and heartwarming. And the skaters just get such a joy out of performing. I really competed a ton as a kid, and I didn't want to do competition for, for this program when I designed it. I wanted it to be cooperative mm -hmm. and friendly and that everyone's a winner. Part of the program, I wanted it to be much more holistic and wholesome and welcoming. Thank you so much. I'm sad that it's your final season, but I'm so excited. You definitely put the time into this yes. program. So thank you for all that you've done for thank, the past 40-something years. Yes, Incredible. Long time. Long time. Thank, thank you. you.